Do you okay. still stand by your comments about uh, former President Barack Obama and that he should be executed, calling for the death of other presidents? Do you stand by that? Do you stand by those comments? Have a good night. Do you stand by what you've said about the public education system and that it needs to be destroyed? No comment. Do you stand by that? No comment. Do you understand the concern that people have no with comment. this nomination hey, that you I now have? I have a question. Have? Do you vote in North Carolina? Then keep your eyes on your own paper. Oh my God. Another GOP psycho running for office. Oh but she's not the only one. Transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it filth. And if you don't like it that I called it filth, come see me and I'll explain it to you. But you know, I heard him coming in on the plane. I was listening and I said to the people on the plane, watch this. This is Martin Luther King on steroids. Okay, now, I told that, I told that, I told that to Mark. I said, I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. This is the guy that, that Trump is backing. I mean, that, that should tell you everything you need to know about, you know, the Republicans that, yeah. And, I, you know, if that doesn't embody their values, and then I don't know what does, you know, but hey, wait, I'm sorry. Let's get back to Michelle Morrow. Mr. Robinson is not the only controversial statewide candidate in North Carolina currently. Which brings us to the Republican nominee to run North Carolina schools, who has tweeted about putting Democrats to death. Her name is Michelle Morrow. Here's one of her tweets. Take a look. It's a doctored photo of former President Barack Obama in an electric chair. Morrow wrote, death to all traitors, hashtag Obamagate. Again, this is the Republican nominee to oversee public schools in North Carolina, you know, home of the research triangle. Let's take a look at this tweet right here from May of 2020, where she's responding to someone who says, says they want to see Obama tossed in Gitmo. Marl wrote, quote, I prefer a pay-per-view of him in front of the firing squad. I do not want to waste another dime on supporting his life. We could make some money back from televising his death. In another tweet from December 2020, Morrow suggested executing Joe Biden, who was then president-elect, because he had asked Americans to wear a mask for 100 days at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, saying, quote, we never, uh, we need to follow the Constitution's advice, and then in all caps, kill all traitors. This is the woman that wants to be in charge of schools, not a school, all of the schools in the entire state. This is not okay. This is insane. Okay, but you know what? I guess, you know, when you have no, uh, your front runner for your party has 91 indictments, federal, local, uh, you know, all over the place, RICO charges. I, I mean, you know, what's insane at this point? On day one, I will sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto our children. But as per usual with Trump's baseless fear-mongering, this is just another lie. I just want to be clear. I'm going to go to the end real quick because I know that that was brought up. Critical race theory, is that typically taught K through 12, yes or no? No. Okay, all right. So we can stop with the nonsense because K through 12 was not teaching critical race theory, at least in this country. I can't talk about what happens in other countries, but in our country, K through 12 is not learning critical race theory, just for those that are unfamiliar. Yes, Rep Crockett puts it very plainly, they're not teaching CRT. We've said this, more, like, thank you, Rep Crockett. I, I like, I, I love her, she's amazing. She's always like very quick-witted, yeah. However, that doesn't matter. See, this was all, this whole CRT, gender ideology thing was all concocted by Christopher Rufo. He is, uh, he worked for DeSantis. He is the guy who took a legal course, a boring, CRT is so boring. And he made it sexy and satanic. And he did it because he wants the public to lose trust in public education. That's it. That, there we go. That's all. 
And so, I mean, we keep saying, oh, they're not teaching CRT, but you know what? They're just going to, they're going to keep saying, oh, no, no, actually you are teaching CRT. Uh, I mean, that's because no one knows what CRT is. And if you actually like pin them down on it, they're just going to pivot to, well, uh, what about gender ideology and how, uh, you know, trans people, you can get a trans, you know, surgery beta blockers without your parents knowing because the public schools, right? We've heard this too much. And he knows that the, now the way the parties have flipped over, the more education you have, the more likely you are to vote for a Democrat. So he's pushing all of these young people into, into universities. They get brainwashed there, and then he wipes their debts for votes. It's really shameful, and the Supreme Court's going to knock it down. Conservatives know that if people are educated, they will no longer be in power. That's it, right? I mean... Not only conservatives, like billionaires, like the billionaires are at this point realizing, oh no, like these people go and get educated and then they don't come out wanting to work for hedge funds anymore and, you know, be good little soldiers and produce capital. Uh, this is terrible. We're not going to be in power much longer if, yeah. So, yeah, they also, yeah, and also, you know, they've, they've found the MAGA movement and the MAGA movement and the billionaires are like, oh, well, they both want public education to go away for different reasons. The MAGA movement is furious that public education is secular and it's not religious. Like they don't do enough Pledge of Allegiance. There's not enough Jesus in school. They want, you know, just, ooh, God damn it. Another crazy thing, which I will tackle in a, in a different video, is you know, we hear about this stuff in like red states, right? Like, you know, that's the South. Oh, that's, you know, Oklahoma, right? Well, right now I'm in New York City and District 2, one of the largest, most, largest, most affluent progressive districts in the, the city, uh, you know, has a takeover from you know, Moms for Liberty. You know, someone ran on the board and she, she ran as a Democrat and she just blatantly lied. She wasn't, she was not a Democrat. And, you know, she's, or, you know, maybe she's a, she's a Democrat that, that speaks at Moms for Liberty functions. That's, that's not a Democrat. So, uh, yeah. And then some other people that are on the board and, uh, yeah, it, it's, they're now like enacting awful policies you know, because they're all moms for liberty. And that's in New York City. So, you know, point is like, you're not safe. These people are coming for your board, your local school board, because moms for liberty, like that is their directive is get involved at the smallest levels of government everywhere.